All right, let's look at some examples where we have variables on both sides. So we got 5y minus 8 equals 3y plus 12. We want to get y by itself, but right now it's all over the place. And lots of things are happening to it. So let's go step by step. Do we have anything to distribute on this side of the, this side of the equation? No. Do we have anything to distribute on this side of the equal sign? No. Do we have any like terms on this side to combine? No. Do we have any on this side to combine? No. Remember that the ones with the variables and ones without variables, we cannot combine together. So now we can start moving things, and we're going to do it in the same fashion we were doing earlier, where we're going to go opposite of um, PEMDAS. Um, we have to decide what side to move your variable on and what side you want your numbers on. So you can decide that for all of your solving variables on both sides, you're going to move your variable on this side or the opposite side, whichever one you want. Um, some teachers will teach you that way. I don't like negative numbers. I don't want to make my any my variable the number in front of my variable my coefficient i don't want to make that negative if possible so what i look for is the side with the bigger coefficient and then i move everything over there so we would agree that 5y is bigger than 3y so i'm going to move this 3y over to this 5y side so that i'm not dealing with a bunch of negatives and I'm going to take everything piece by piece. So I am only touching the variable right now. So this is positive 3y. Again, what's the opposite of positive? What's the opposite of addition? That is subtraction. So on this side, I'm going to subtract out that 3y. Remember, whatever I do on one side, i got to do on the other. So I'm going to do that here as well. So I've got 5y minus 3y. So what's 5 minus 3? That's 2. Remember, do not drop your variable, but my y stay the same. It's just that number in front that's changing. Nothing happened to this negative 8, so we still got minus 8 here equals a positive 3y minus 3y. That gets rid of it. That was our goal. And then nothing happened to this 12. So now we have 2y minus 8 equals 12. Now here you can say I'm just at a two-step equation. And this is what we've been doing. So we're going to get our constant on the other side by doing the opposite. Right now it's being subtracted. And we're going to add it. I don't know where to put my hands, guys. So nothing happened to this 2y, so we're left with 2y. Negative 8 plus 8 gets rid of it, equals, we got 12 plus 8, that gives me 20. So again, we took care of our addition and subtraction. Let's take care of this multiplication by dividing it, dividing both sides. So 2 divided by 2, it gives me y, Two div ugh, 20 divided by 2, is 10. So again, what does that mean? In order for all of this to be true, y has to be 10. All right, <clears throat> another example. 4x minus 12x plus 9 equals 6x minus 19. Do I need to distribute on either side? No, there's nothing to distribute. Do I need to combine like terms on either side? Oh, yes, I do because I got these two x's right here. So I got 4x and then I got a minus 12x. So 4 minus 12 gives me a negative 8. Remember, we still got that x. And then we only have one constant. Again, remember, I'm already drawing my wall. I'm already just working on one side. So we got plus 9 here. On this other side, is there anything to combine? No. We cannot combine the 6x 
and the minus 19. All right, let's decide what side to put our variables on. So I've got a negative 8x and a positive 6x. That's positive 6x is bigger, so I'm going to move my variables over there. So right now I have a minus 8x. What's the opposite of minusing or subtracting? Plus, positive, addition, all of these same things. So I'm going to add 8x to both sides. Okay, minus 8x plus 8x gives me no x's on this side. 9 stays the same. 6x plus 8x, I don't know why I didn't put a plus sign, is 14x, and then nothing happened to this minus 19. So now I'm just solving a two-step equation. Still trying to get my x right here. I'm leaving it right here. That's a good point. When I've got vari the variable on both sides, when I'm, whatever side I decide to move it to, that's where it stays. I don't move that x any more times. Now I'm just dealing with anything being added or subtracted to it and then multiplied and divided by it. So I'm going to add 19 to both sides. 9 plus 19 is 28. Now that 14x stayed there and stayed the same. And that minus 19 plus 19, that all goes away. Okay, I'm still dealing with this multiplied 14. So I'm going to divide both sides by 14. 28 divided by 14 is 2. 14 divided by 2 is x. So in this case, x is going to equal 2.